Hi, first grade. We are here for our last day of our Symbols of Freedom project. You are going to need the blue paper that we've been working with. You are also going to need colors, markers, crayons, colored, pan, colored pencils, does not matter, whatever you want to color with. You are going to need this right here. This is our symbols of freedom, our symbols of freedom. And you're going to see how we're going to use this in just a little bit. And this is out of that social science symbols of freedom bag. And you are also going to need glue. So the first thing that you are going to start with or that we are going to start with is coloring. When you color this page right here, you can color it any colors, like I would stick with colors we've been working with, like red, white, and blue, since we're talking about symbols of freedom. And we know, you know, red, white, and blue is the colors of the flag. You could even use some green if you wanted to, since the Statue of Liberty is green. You could add in a little bit of yellow. But let's try and keep these colors like red, white, blue, colors we've been using, and not just crazy colors. So for example, if I were coloring this, Maybe I'd say, okay, well, I would like to make my S blue. And then maybe I want to make this white. And then maybe I want to make my M red and alternate. And kind of just make this look really pretty. And then maybe I do that again. And I go right here and I do this blue. And then white and then red. Awesome. Or maybe I do want to say, you know what, I am going to use a little bit yellow and a little bit of yellow, and I'm going to make these stars here yellow because I think they'll be pretty if I make them yellow. Okay. Again, does not matter. You are just going to go ahead and color this and you do need to color this. So it does need to be colored. Now, obviously, if you want to leave parts of it white, that's okay, but you have to color at least some of it. Okay. You can't just do it and not color any of it at all. You can use crayon, you can use marker, you can use colored pencil, does not matter. You do not need to color the background, just color the letters and color the stars. Go ahead and take right now, pause the video and color, right? Pause the video and color. Okay, if you are here right now, that means that you have colored this page, okay? It's completely colored. Here is the next part, and this might be one of the trickier parts of it, but you guys got this. We're going to fold this. So what we are going to do is we are going to make this edge meet the other edge. So what I need you to do is have this page right in front of you like I do. Put your fingers up in the corners like this. Now flip it to the back. And all we are going to do is make the corners that we have on our fingers meet the edge of the paper. Like that, as best as you can. And then press down in the middle with your hand and then crease it. And what you are going to notice, if it's not perfect, it's okay. But what you are going to notice then is right here, you see our symbols of freedom on this side. When you flip to the back, guess what you see? Our symbols of freedom. And here's why this is going to be really cool in just a moment. So again, if you need me to show this again, you are taking right here, these corners, then flip it to the back and you're bringing these corners all the way across to the other side. Once you do and you've met it here, put your hand in the middle and then start creasing it. And then you can move that hand to help you crease. If you need someone at home to help you with this part, totally fine. But before you just say, can you help? Try it. If you don't try it, you won't know if you can do it. So try it first. If you get stuck, then you can have someone help you. Okay, now, once we are done with this part, the only other thing we need to do is glue. And what we do is we are going to glue this at the bottom and it's going to look really cool because once we glue it, we're going to have this at the bottom. It's going to say symbols of freedom. It's awesome. Okay, so what we're going to start with right now is we are going to actually put glue at the very, very tippy top right here. And then we are going to lay this on here. We're only getting this on here, like up at the tippy top. We're not putting like the entire thing up on here. So what I'm going to actually have you do right now is 
take your finger up at the very top and count down like two times. One, two. And you should see there's like a little tiny amount that we've counted down. And we're going to go ahead and put glue all on that all the way across. And then after we've done that, what we are going to do is take this paper, put it right on there and then crease it. Perfect. Good, nice job. Okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to put some glue. We're going to do the same thing, but at this very top. So start here, count down one, two, and then put glue at the top, just like what we did a moment ago. And then all we have to do is close this. So close this and crease it. And that's it. And then just make sure it feels pretty secure. And then what you are going to see, look at how cool this is. You have your American flag at the top, your Liberty Bell right here. It says our symbols of freedom. If you flip it over, you have the Statue of Liberty. You have the bald eagle and then our symbols of freedom. Boys and girls, this project is awesome and you guys have done an amazing job. The only thing I would like you to post today is a picture of the entire thing. You pick a side. Does not matter what side. I just want to be able to see that you put the our symbols of freedom at the bottom. So if you want to post a picture of this side with the Statue of Liberty and the bald eagle, cool. You can smile with it. You can lay it down on a desk or surface and take a picture. And that's great. If you want to do it this side right here with the American flag and the Liberty Bell, that is fine too. Does not matter which side. I am just looking to see that you colored the symbols of freedom page and that you folded it and glued it to the bottom of our poster. That's it. And just like that, our poster is complete. You guys did such a great job. Okay, I cannot wait to see your completed poster today. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.